Join us for Tea Time. Hi, my name is uh, Daniel Macharyangodo, a.k.a. DJ Gigi. Um, I'm a TV host, DJ, and uh, overall music entrepreneur. And uh, coming to the experiment, uh, I'm looking forward to get to know my wife even more. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm here with my wife of uh, seven and a half years, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Oh, dope. Hey guys, my name is Jasmine Masharia. I am a content creator, food blogger, chef, and cookbook author. Um, yes, like you said, we've been married for seven and a half years. I am pretty, pretty excited going into this because I'm curious if we really know each other that well. <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into it. Are you ready? I guess, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what do I do at work? You're a DJ and a TV host. Correct. Yes. Where was our first date? Our first date, official first date, uh -huh. Central Park. Correct. Not to salads, to fruit salads, to <laughs> a 50 bob, yes. What is my love language? Oh my gosh. Uh, words of affirmation and acts of service? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Is there like a half a month? <laughs> but for real, it used to be acts of service then, for the longest time. Then you uh, changed uh, when I started spoiling you with so gifts. You told you me now you you're have, a gift you guy. You have to select one. No, you can't have just one love language. Yeah, but okay, what's the dominant one? The dominant one right now, where we are right now in life. Uh -huh. eh? Words of affirmation. Wrong. Uh -huh. So anyway, that's wrong. Uh -huh. It's still acts of service. Still. Still acts of okay, service. Okay, then I should get a half point. No, no, I told you. I told you before. focus on one. Okay, whatever, man. So you got that wrong. Uh -huh. Which is my dream travel destination? Oh, man. Dream travel. Yeah. Look, you're thinking about it. No, you don't no, have no, a no, dream mention, travel see, destination. See, see. Just mention. A place you'd like to go, but it's not your dream travel destination. Still. Yeah. Also that, I'll give you, I'll give you for that. I know you've been saying a lot how you want to go to Rwanda of late. Okay, I'll give you that. Yes, I'll give, give me that. that. But there's another, there's another answer, but I'll give you that. Tell me what the answer is. The answer was, um, is... Um, <laughs> you see? He, you're thinking North about and it. Lights. Oh, I've mentioned that very many... Yes, Iceland. I've mentioned yeah. it very many times. Yeah, like... Actually, no, I should ago. give you a wrong then for that. No, uh, babe, move on. Wrong! What is my favorite what thing to do? Why are you to... gaming in saying <laughs> that? Uh -huh. What is? What is my favorite thing to do with you? Traveling. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Hmm. How, how, how? You are that, malicious. That's, that's, uh, you are malicious with those. Three point five the... out of five. You've actually given me that half mark. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what am I most afraid of? Ah, uh, snakes and insects. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the first meal or dish that I cooked for you? Wow, why are these questions harder than yours? Okay. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. It was uh, rice and chicken. Oh, yeah, actually, it was. <laughs> Man, I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> what is... Okay, even I don't know this one. What is my secret hidden talent? <laughs> Oh, I know. Yeah, uh, I know. I know you are... Uh, oh, man. Why is it escaping my mind? I actually uh, have two things that I, I would say are talent. Oh, uh, yeah. Secret hidden talent is you are a radio host of, uh, of uh, uh, a <laughs> night show. A night love show. Where has that come from? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> Secret hidden talent is that when I put my mind to it, I can really sing well. I was about to say that. Yeah, you were about to. No, but, but you but did most, it. No, but most people. What was oh, the second babe, one? We're already second done. One no, I'm just really good at nurturing pets. <laughs> so, oh, okay, okay. what was my first job? Your first job was uh, a waiter in a, in a restaurant. What type of restaurant? Well, if I'm going to write this, give me No, that's that. so general. It was a, it was a Spanish restaurant. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is my favorite holiday or oh, like of time of the year i guess favorite time of the year my yeah let's just say that 
favorite time of the year is uh, come on you can't get this one wrong your birthday yes thank you <laughs> i guess four out of five imagine <laughs> so yeah i think we should get right into the main question yes yeah looking forward to that tea time hi 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 let me let you pour the tea first no just ask them i asked so I can be thinking okay. about it so what age would you like to be for the rest of your life? Ah, That's interesting. 25. Okay. 25 was a very... What's the reason for that? I liked 25 because I feel like for the longest time, um, I was in my early 20s, I felt like for a very long time. Mm. <laughs> and I was always the youngest in the groups. And I was always like, even when you just looked at my circles, yeah. everywhere, whether it was in church, outside, the people mm. I live with, mm. I was always the youngest person. They're like, just you're still like 21, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I remember reaching 25 and I finally felt like, hiya, you know? Yeah. I'm not the youngest one anymore. And it yeah. feels like you're kind of mature. Mm. But I do love 30. So I, I'm actually starting to think, Maybe 30. Mm. 30 is a good age, but 25 was also nice. But okay. yeah, yeah, I would say that. What about you? I think for me, I'd say uh, 27. Yeah. Uh, because I think that's the year that a lot happened in my life. Eh? That's the year we started dating, I think, exactly. also. Yeah. There's some, a lot of exciting things that mm. happened during that time. Mm. And uh, I would also say, I mean, can I give you two answers? I think 27. I mean, I just did 25 and 30. So, yeah, yeah 27. So 27, eh? probably like a, like a 25, also 24. Eh. Yeah. Because I think what that's was when happening I, at I 25, that's, 24. I think that's the time I took my first international trip. Oh, yeah. I think that was a huge one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Just the story behind it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know the story. Yeah. Yeah. What is the one thing you wish you were really good at? Two things. Hmm. Number one, basketball. Yeah, I wish you were good at that as well. I yeah. don't know why. I always imagined because you're so Basketball, tall, yeah. you'd be like shooting hoops. Is that I'm what they good. say? I, I, I'm not as good, but I can play basketball. Yeah, but you I can wish play. I was really good at basketball. Yeah. Because that's something that I probably would have done. I don't and know how you enjoy have, watching. And I enjoy watching yes. basketball. Um, also, the second one is I wish I was really good at flying. Flying? Like I was a pilot or something. You would have wanted to be a pilot? Now when I think about it, I'm like, to the... It would have actually suited you. You'd look yeah. very nice in a suit. Yeah. yeah. With like a, a bag. A, yeah. You know. You remember when we were dating, you used to wear those two hats that kind of had that shape. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted yeah, that? I find, I find those guys so cool. Like when they're, you know, in the airport. You guys, you're standing there, passengers, but, you know, they just... Come. Oh, and they always have the suitcases with the wheels that exactly. are out on the front. Yeah. So it can go and any direction. And they never direction. look at this. You can't even. It's just like... Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, in the shades. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my pilot friends. So, do you know, funny enough, as mm -hmm. you're saying that, in both mm -hmm. the things you've said you've been good at, let's say if you're like a professional basketball player, mm. that's how they also get off the buses, you know? Yes. With the shades and the yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, it's the cool factor it's you like, want from both of them. You know. <laughs> with the headphones. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, I wish I was good at... I know this is going to sound very weird, mm -hmm. but I... I'm a chef, right? Yeah, Trained by profession. Yeah, yeah. But I've never been good at food styling. Okay, I, I okay. really, really tried doing those two courses and whatever. Mm. And I remember even in school when I, we were doing the culinary course mm. and I had classmates who would be, who cause, you know, the two dots, dots on the plate. Mm. You know, those plating, that, that mm. ad. Mm. So, and I realized, like, in the later years that also, like, most of those people that I knew who were good at that mm. were actual, were naturally artists. Okay. Do you get it? People okay. who like drawing and stuff. So now even for them, when they see the food, they just know like. Okay. So I'm good at making food taste good, but I'm really bad at, at styling at styling it. So I really wish I was good at that. Rule <laughs> mjama Instagram. Nurset. Rule wa chumve. Does he style? No, <laughs> that's a day. Yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's your turn. Okay. What would you do if fear was not a factor and you could not fail? Because I feel like when I was doing my cookbooks and no one had done cookbooks, like that was the thing I was so fearful of. Mm. But like nowadays, I feel like lips don't scare yeah, me as like, much. I do, yeah, I think you... <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. A restaurant. Yes. Yeah, I would. I would really. But I always get into my head about it and I'm just ah. like, oh, do you know they failed in the first year? Oh, all those things. But yeah, mm. I would probably do that. Yeah, a restaurant. 
Yeah. Yes, I would probably I would probably open up a huge media um uh, a media space and or a media corporation. I think I think in fear was not a factor. Mm -hmm. And just knowing that I I could not fail, I think that would yeah would be a huge one. Because you always uh, have so many ideas. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have anywhere to execute them. Yeah. What is your favorite childhood memory? Mm, I can tell you mine as you try to remember yours. Okay, I can see yours now. When I was young and my father like put me on his lap mm. and we had one of those old pickups that even the door never used to close nicely. Mm. But then, and then we like drove around um, that car road for, you know, the house, mm. that Kanyariri road. Mm. And I still remember it because he never did that with me again, but I always remember that. And I'm just like, oh, that was such a good man because he legit let me steer the wheel because yeah. before that road never used to be busy. Mm. Yeah. So that's like, I think one of my most favorite childhood memories. And I think I was three, but I remember that that moment yeah okay what about you i have many yeah um growing up in an estate mm -hmm. you have a lot of experiences mm -hmm. <laughs> but one uh, childhood memory that i will always remember is we used to have a black and white tv mm -hmm. and uh because <laughs> <laughs> you've told me many stories about that tv <laughs> The, the, long the, after color TVs came out. Long after color TVs came the out, Godo, we still have black the and white. Because the household still had the black and white. Uh -huh. And there was, uh, it was one of those ones for, you know, great no remote. Like, yeah. ta -ta 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 -ta, but it was a JVC, yeah. you know, brand. Yeah. You know, so Which it was is a, a very Kali brand. Those days. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, those ones for, they call them Baruti. Yeah. You, know, ta -ta -ta -ta. you change the channel and stuff. <laughs> but you never used to use Shika any other channel except one. <laughs> and I know you guys know which one. Uh -huh. But um, <laughs> when we were bought for that first color TV, it was just an act. <laughs> the mere fact that she remembered. Yeah, it. <laughs> as it was just like, what? Yeah. Yani, dad, you've decided, Yani, you know? Yeah. Because we always used to miss a lot of programs that um, your classmates, my classmates, yeah. were, my boys were Mtan used to watch, you yeah. know? And they used to talk about the Moko Ivo Mtan, you know, Uliona Reso, Uliona Vile Ultimate Warrior, you know? Yeah. But as we did, but have I'm sure you still didn't watch wrestling after. How I know your yeah, mother, yeah, yeah, yeah. she still did story not let you. Sorry for another day. But yeah. getting that color TV was a good memory. Yeah. What is one attribute of your mother or father that you see in yourself? <laughs> we already know <laughs> the answer to that. From <laughs> you. I mean, they're very strong willed. They're all choleric. I am the same. Um, we just have a very strong willed family, both of them. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> it's like, is it water and oil or oil and oil? <laughs> like, for real. Um, but yeah, I think I see it. And I, and I mean, there are sometimes I will see like the downside of that, like maybe um, struggling to apologize and things like that. But like when it comes to other things, I feel like both my parents, when they put their mind to something, they always do it. If they say they're going to do this, they also, they're always hopeful. They are dreamers, even at their age. And I feel like for me, I always feel like today, I just never know. This could be the day I come up with a new dream also. Yeah. So I think I've gotten that from them. Yeah. What about I, I you? Think also, let me I think There's another stylish. one. Oh, <laughs> is it bougie or style? <laughs> yeah, my ma my mom is extra. My mom is so extra, man. Yeah, yeah, like she can't even wear gloves, man. Like, just for the sake of it, you know. <laughs> Leather jackets and whatnot. Anyway, yeah. I think for me, it's both my mom and my father. Yeah, my father um, is calm at times. Yeah, and uh, I also have a calm side. Yeah, it's come more in the uh, later years, actually. Yeah. Mm. My father is a bit of an OCD. Kidogo. Mm -hmm. yes, and face. you're a bit? A bit? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, uh, I can take that cartridge from him. Yeah. Uh, for my mother, yeah. I take the loud... And wanting people. And, and wanting people. What's, the, what's the thing? Um, you're social. You're uh, a social yeah, person, yeah. He's very social, yeah. so. So I see my, my, my mother a lot in, in me. Yeah. And also the evangelism part. Yeah. yeah. Gigi will preach to everyone, <laughs> everywhere we go. 
even the times I'm not expecting it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I but I love that about you. Yeah. yeah. yeah so That's beautiful, babe. I mean, because we are same Christians. So. Sure. Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, what is the scariest thing you've ever done? I don't think it was very scary. I know one scary thing you did. I wouldn't say it's the scariest, but maybe it could be in the top top three for you. When you hosted an awards show. Do you remember? I remember you were so nervous yes. and I found that so strange because you'd already yes. started like Agreed. hosting on TV and I'd never seen you, I've never seen you nervous about any <laughs> links, but I remember like that time you just kept on saying, oh, and you were doing it with two professionals. Remember, <laughs> I think you're doing it with Kanze Dena. Kanze and Kambua. Yeah, so at that time you were so nervous. I was just like, <laughs> how, how am I going to do this? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I'm not used to seeing you like this. Back in the morning, I, 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 I said they can't do it. At a backstage, <laughs> they just pray for me, man. <laughs> okay, I told the boss, I know I don't think I can do this. Let can say I can I can't. You know, it was my first time. You know, award shows. Award shows, yeah. It's like they have to you go. Know, yeah, you have to be, you know, uh, there's a posture. You have to talk in a certain way. Yes, and today. No, award shows are just very, you know, because, yeah. you know, you're, sorry, this is like an interruption, but you remember how Steve Harvey that Miss Wild, or was it Miss mm. US? And he announced the wrong winner. There's a lot of pressure, you know. And then he's like, I'm sorry, it's not exactly. you. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, even recently, look at uh, Who? Will Smith and... Uh, yeah, although Chris I feel Ford. like that was staged. But yeah, there's yeah. just a lot of pressure when you're staged. there's stage. a lot of pressure. You know, so you just make a fine bad joke. But you aced it, babe. It was actually... Man. You looked so calm on stage. But that was it's, one of the scariest things you did. It's the yeah, I agree with you 100%. That's one. I think the second <laughs> one is being on that. Um, oh yeah that, that was also a yeah. bit but it was really fast. but it was so comfortable yeah, it was yeah but i mean looking at the ground and stuff it's just seen animals because it only it goes like that's it <laughs> i'll be waiting for this day <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Paka, we're asking that guy, like, where do you know where it's gonna land? And he's just like, like no, no, we don't just know. don't know how the wind will take us today. And I'm like, what? Even when we're we going to have breakfast, and he's like, oh, you know, uh, do, you, do you have like a fancy? I was like, no, 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 no. I mean, yeah, it's just in the wild. It's, it's just in the wild. wild. Yeah, no, yeah, I, but that, that's what that's what you're saying. I think for me, I would say, um, I went, um, when I used to live in Spain. Mm. My sister Hilda tricked me to we were at an amusement park mm. and she told me, by the way, this next ride is not that high. It's not that, you know. And I yeah, yeah. And I just remember because me, I'm not about that life. At Yuku playing with, with death, why? Right? For what? For fun. That's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So she tricked me, man. And I found myself, because there's always a cue to those rides. And I remember like most kids like you can talk yourself out of it i'm just like ah no we went and uh, and i remember she actually had she saw her friend at the front and we bypassed the whole line and before i could even think about it i'm like wait what and we were on it and it just goes so high it was the highest in that region and you see the whole city from above and then it just goes down and that was one of the scariest things i ever did i think i just i don't think i ever want to do something like that again who in your life would you like to have a close relationship with? Who? I would say probably my father. I think if I had a closer relationship, it's not like we don't talk, we do, but I just wish maybe we were closer. But I think, because I always see people who are like daddy's girls and stuff, and I'm just like, I never got that experience. So I wish I had that experience. What about you? I'd like to have had a well, I we, I have a close relationship, but mm. I wish for it to even be more closer. Yeah. To my bra, my big. Bro. I knew you'd say that. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I think my my bro had a lot of. Uh, well, he was uh, away. Yeah, uh, it's also the age difference. Age difference I think, and also yeah. Being away on longer periods of uh, mm. of time when I was at home because he was in campus. Yeah. So I think I would have definitely wished to have a closer relationship with my brother at that time. Yeah. Like now we do have a closer relationship. Yeah. I want it to be even more closer. Yeah, than yeah. it is now. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Jeff, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> if he's ever going to watch You know, uh, he will. You know, the guest room is not a guest room. It is his closet. 
viatu tumejaa <laughs> but there i was on a park bench waiting for you get invited yo Imagine. so yeah okay, I, okay, thanks for coming how you shouldn't just like randomly bend yeah <laughs> no that's not how myself i'm talking about you you're talking about yourself these are the years for exquisite things you know yeah. like better bras and yeah. something you know you can't just be buying like the things off the street you get it ever <laughs> since you got into your 30s you just fall asleep and i'm always the one there <laughs> Join us for Tea Time.